Hey, Visante here. So in this video, I'm going to talk about how to easily or at least make it easier for you to beat Requeta, some tips and everything. Um, some of the tips came from Mauchi from my stream. And since I assume that you actually got to Requeta in Sky Tower 34, I'm assuming you're at adequate level, at least decent enough. But he still hits pretty hard, so I'm going to go over that. All right, so this I'm in Sky Tower 25 right now. Um, so before going into Sky Tower, make sure to stock up on Petrify Wands, Slumber Wands, Slumber Orbs, Confuse Wand, Confuse Orbs, all that status stuff to make sure Requesa doesn't hit you as often. Um, so that's the tip I got from Mauchi. Um, one thing you can also do is bring in Roll Call Orb and All Dodge Orbs because uh, all dodge is going to help you a lot, especially when Rayquaza does a freaking hyper beam. You'll see in my battle later. Um, and roll call orb is because Rayquaza like to do gusts of wind and then separate all of you apart. And if you're somewhere else, you can have roll call orb. I didn't actually bring it. And then I was thinking about it in the past that, okay, maybe I should bring it. But yeah, just stock up on all this. Uh, you're going to be using it quite a bit. It'll make your battles a lot easier. And we'll just get to the battle. All right, here we go. And I'm also reacting to this. It's the first time watching myself play this. But yeah, here we are with Quaza. Um, I do have seven deadly sins on the side. So if you do play that game, feel free to drop by as well. Um, but anyways, I want to start off with like just making it go to sleep because I want to make sure he doesn't do it. So you want to just make sure he doesn't have time to do his moves so you can actually you know use your attacks and whatnot. Because he's going to wake up and he's going to hit you again, right? And every time he wakes up, you just put another status on. And he does like AoE things as well, like Twister. Oh my god. So, what? <laughs> once. What am I doing? I think I'm putting another one. Yeah. So, I'm going to make it go back to sleep. I think after this, I use uh, All Dodge Orb. Because I like. So, I pretty much put All Dodge Orb in case he wakes up and you still be able to dodge. Because then after he wakes up, he does the move, right? But then if he had the all dodge orb on as well, at least you'll be able to dodge a lot of the Rayquaza's moves because they'll wake up and it'll do an attack. Right? So there's, there's, a, there's, a, there's a time where you put him to sleep, right? You get a few attacks in. And then during that attack, during that attack, he would wake up and he would do one attack before you can actually use another item and whatnot. But yeah, here you can see, I was looking for a roll call orb. He freaking used Gust and then separate all of us. Um, so when you're going through this, you can't any, actually recruit anything. So it's only just you, your your two other partner Pokemon. It's pretty much just your team. Yeah, so he woke up again and he does a move. Hyper Beam. And look at that. Missed. OP. <laughs> and then now he's, he takes some time to rejuvenate because, you know, Hyper Beam is a two-turn move. You do Hyper Beam and they'll need time to recover. So, whatever. Put it back to sleep. <laughs> Every time you have a chance, just put it back to sleep. Don't even risk it. Yeah, so you got to watch out for those spots. At one point, my Monchop is technically the highest level, as you can see here. Get separated all over there, and I got to use a different Pokemon that's somewhat closer to do all the status conditions. Right, and then you want to bring some range units because Rayquaza is gonna separate them away, and then the the be more range that you have, the better of the chances that you have. So I forgot to mention that, but yeah, my Torchic has Flame Burst, my Magnum has Signal Beam. Signal Beam is pretty good. It also inflicts poison. I mean, not poison, confusion. It inflicts confusion, and then I have Steamroll. On my Magnemite, so all my moves will do a decent amount of damage. Yeah, so Twister actually hit me. But yeah, just just bring some revives as well. Of course you want to bring revives to a boss battle, man. Somehow, yeah, I didn't... And then when you lose, you lose your status, right? So I got to do the dodge orb again. But yeah, if you have Steamroll and I'm using a fighting Pokemon, um, it will make regular... Non-effective moves do, you know, regular damage instead of not being very effective. There you go. I put him back to sleep. I think I had another dodge orbs. So just bring a couple of dodge orbs 
And that will be nice and fancy here. In case you do get knocked out, you can increase your invasiveness again. You look at that, steamroll activated. Woke up, but he's confused. <laughs> signal beam OP as well. So signal beam with confusion. Um, I'm also using Torchic. And since it's a dragon type, right, it doesn't take that much damage from like these moves. Somehow it's asleep, but then the wind still affects us. And that, here, here you see me kind of far away. And then I just switch to Magnemite and then make sure I get out of the, the square. Then I will put it to sleep. Magnemite is good because it's steel, so it's resistant to his flying moves. Yeah, I'm just gonna. If I run out of stuff, I have confusion wands and everything. So just stock up on those. Yeah, and if you're it's, so yeah, make sure if you're running a Pokemon that does non effective moves, like if you're running a Monchop as your main character, and then you're running, um, like not Ice Beam or whatever. You just just bring Steamroll. It'll make your it'll make your moves do regular damage, so it doesn't take freaking forever. Right, he's awake again. I think I ran out, so I'm just doing confusion now. Confusion is just as good because then he would just shoot that random direction. But yeah, he aimed at me successfully, but it missed. He hasn't hit me with any hyper beams yet. It's nice. I couldn't move because of recoil from the hyper beam. Um, I don't think he's confused anymore, so I think I try to confuse it again. And then I have my Magnemite and. Or chick just keep sniping it. Phew. Aha! Extreme speed and the miss. Damn, it recovered already. But there you go. I beat it. The first That was my first try too. First time kind of encountering it. I don't think I ever fought the... This is like my first mystery dungeon that I actually kind of successfully beat. I think I tried it before back in the day and I didn't get too far and then I moved on to another game. But yeah, so there you have it. Hopefully this helps you. Um, I know it, I've been talking like all over the place, but <laughs> thanks for watching and hopefully see you guys again. My social is down below and oh shoot, I should stop the video before it spoils anything else. <laughs> Later days.